Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge, Day 56. First, I need to apologize about the delay in getting these videos uploaded. There has been a, um, a couple wrinkles that have happened lately, and just wanting to get those ironed out before we get these videos back running again. So it looks like that's on track, and we're going to keep moving forward with the video. So today in 56, we're going to talk about opportunities and a new way to create smart views within all opportunities. So previously, when we were in contacts, you saw the ability to create smart views by selecting certain filter items and then coming into smart view and creating a smart view based upon those filters. So you can see a few that I have created in the past. Today, we're going to do a very similar process with opportunities. So we're going to come into our opportunities submenu. It's our sixth one down. It's the shaking of the two hands. And we're going to click on that applet and it's going to open up our opportunity tab. So we're going to come up to the very top here and click on all opportunities. And that's going to show us a historic list of all opportunities that we have ever put into our system. So you see the 15 that I have here. Now, one um, common use that I see a lot of people want to see, well, how much did I do um, maybe this year, last year, etc. in business? How much did I close? So I could click on filters here in the center. I would come over and say, hey, I want to just see my closed transactions and I'm going to come down to closed date and click on last year. So I'm going to scroll down to last year and then I'm going to click on apply. And instead of now seeing 15 transactions, I only see nine and it's all of the closed transactions that I had that I put into command in 2019. So if I wanted to see this view regularly, I could name it as a smart view and I could come up here and click on this down arrow next to all opportunities. I would click on create smart view and then I could name it and it might be say closed transactions 2019 and then I would click on save smart view. That is now a smart view that I can then access later should I choose to when I come into all opportunities again it's going to default to everybody right so let's click let's click off there we go now we're going to get back into it so all opportunities and it'll default to all 15 again. However, I easily want to see without having to filter a second time, I can now just come down and click on close transactions and there's everything I've closed in 2019. Now, if I want to cl clear that smart view, clear all my filters, I would click the X next to filters. And now let's say I just want to see what's active right now. So I could come in here and just click on, all right, I want to see everything that's either active, under contract or currently pending. I would then click on apply. I'm just going to show me what I've got working in my pipeline right now. So you can see buyers and listings that are actively working. Again, I could come in and say, yep, I want to save that one as a smart view. So click on create smart view and it might just say active and pending ops. And I would save that one. Now in the future, I can easily click on this drop down. I can see my closed transactions from 2019. I can see my active and pending opportunities from 2020 right now, and I could just go back and see all opportunities as well. So that's it for today's challenge, a really quick and easy way to be able to sort or filter your opportunities one time, and then create a custom smart view so that you can access it once again in the future. As always guys, it's a pleasure speaking with you and look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Hope you all have a fantastic night. Thanks so much.